I don't know about you, but I feel like we just got primo seating here. What's up you guys, welcome back to the beautiful city of Monopoly here in Italy. I would say we probably had the best sleep of our lives oh. last night in our Airbnb. I don't know what it was, but they had the best mattress in there we've had in a long time and we slept so good. But guys, we are heading out to find our car, parked out on the street somewhere here, and heading up the coast to a different town to check out a few cool things. to Polignano Amare. How's my accent? Good, good. How's my pronunciation? Yeah, yeah. It's incredible. This place is so beautiful. It's about 15 minute drive from Monopoly where we have been staying and it is so beautiful. Well worth the trip. If you guys are out in the Puglia area, you have to come here. It's a must see. But right behind me is the setup for the Red Bull cliff diving that they had been doing apparently all weekend long and they just finished it yesterday. <laughs> and I'm so heartbroken. That would have been so cool to see. Super Wait. bummed that we missed that. That's the platform right there. It looks like they have two different levels and that would have been so sick to see. I'm actually super bummed, but that's okay because we're still in a super gorgeous place. And honestly, maybe it's a little less crowded today. So count our blessings. <laughs> you know, maybe we missed the diving crowd. So we have the place a little bit more to ourselves. I wish we caught the diving. <laughs> I kind of wish we caught the diving too. <laughs> but this isn't all that we are doing here today, you guys. We have a fun little adventure coming up that may or may not involve us getting out on this gorgeous water to my right here. <laughs> and if anyone is familiar with this area or has been on Instagram in the last, I don't know, five years, you probably have a good guess of where we are going this evening that required Daniel to buy some fancy clothes. And it may or may not be for an early celebration of something very special in our lives. <laughs> <laughs> Catching the Red Bull cliff diving would have been so incredible. I don't even know that I would pencil drop off of one of these platforms, let alone dive and twist off of it. But of course, I'm very much an amateur cliff jumper. That would have been rad. I feel like we're always showing up a day or two late for really, really cool things that we could have caught in these very, very cool places. But it's okay. We're still doing some very cool things today. But that definitely would have been very fun to see. Can I make you a sandwich? Yes, ma'am. Cheese? <laughs> Not for you, Fly. Wow. <laughs> hey. A little lunch. Cheers. Shelly's making a few sandwiches down there from the rock floor. Delicious. <laughs> Not bad. We did a few errands on the way out here. Ran by a grocery store, ran by a gas station, stocked up on essentials. I feel like that's one of the things that's hard about full-time travel is you're constantly in search of essentials like water, shampoo, conditioner. Not all the Airbnbs actually have that stuff. So we're always on the lookout for it, always buying it. So we did those errands this morning. This lookout has been amazing. We are not seeing the last of this town. We're actually gonna see it up a little bit closer a couple more times today and we can't be more excited about it. on board our boat heading out to sea. What's rad is there's so many like swimming pool areas cut out in the rock. So we've seen a few of them so far and they look like a ton of fun. All right, he's putting the hammer down here. Going up the coast, back up into Poligliano Amare to see some of the caves and the cliff sides and the city from the ocean, guys. I don't know what it is about boats in the water, but this is our favorite thing to do. Hopefully you enjoy watching it. <laughs> Got a small beach right back in there, and it is just packed with people. <laughs>
Guys, these caves are so big, we got two boats in it right now. <laughs> All right, we're blasting further down the coast now. We've probably been inside 10 to 12 caves by now. Each one. <laughs> Our driver is kind of crazy. He's like hitting the gas, pulling it off, doing sharp turns. We're about to go in cave number 12 or 15 right now. So I'm making a few friends here on the boat, adding a few subscribers. If you have not subscribed, make sure you do so right now. Alright, he said this is our last cave. Not much of a cave at all. It's got a big open hole above it and a nice lady sitting up there. Coke Zero and my little Italian crackers. I don't know what they are, but I really love them. a very special day in our lives at that exact restaurant this evening. Guys, it's in a cave. She chucked a ton of fish food at her. Now they're coming! All right, we just went for a swim right underneath this restaurant in these caves here. Freaking <laughs> incredible. We're heading back to the marina right now and our driver is awesome and he's driving this little boat like a Ferrari and <laughs> just splashing everyone in the whole boat with spray as he turns from left to right like super hard. <laughs> We just got off the boat ride of a lifetime. <laughs> we just went all along the cliff sides here into dozens of caves. It was honestly so incredible. It was like cave after cave after cave and they would just like drive the boat right inside as if it was nothing. I mean, he hit the sides a couple times. He didn't <laughs> seem to care. It was so much fun. Then he went all the way along the coast till the cliff sides were gone and it was just beautiful beaches. Swung back around and then we all got to take a dip in front of the Ristorante. Yes. that we are going to be dining at this evening. Hopefully we'll be looking a lot more cleaned up than this. That was honestly so much fun. The water was crystal clear, beautiful. It felt so good. We got to swim inside the caves, climb up on this little staircase, which apparently we weren't supposed to be on. It he goes told us, up to the restaurant. It goes up to the restaurant. And he was like, oh, if you go up there, an alarm will go off. And we're like, Ugh. But anyway, so we climbed up the stairs, jumped off. It was honestly so much fun. And our captain of our boat, I mean, he's a jokester. He was driving that thing like it was a Ferrari on a go-kart track like it was <laughs> crazy <laughs> it was like hammer on hammer on left right so much fun. it was so much fun he was doing donuts as if we were like on jet skis everyone was getting sprayed oh my gosh the best part shell jumps in the water and he tosses a ton of food <laughs> right around her and all the fish get all the starts fish to coming come up and get me. <laughs> He was a ton of fun, guys. That was just 30 euros a person with a company called Puvia Mare right here out of this harbor, and that was well worth it. Well worth it. Money well spent. <laughs> We just got cleaned up and are off to probably what is gonna be one of the most delicious and expensive meals of our lives. Definitely the most expensive. I'm hoping for most delicious as well. <laughs> we are off to the famous Grotto Palacense, and I think it's gonna be quite the experience. This is the first time I've tried to style my hair in what feels like weeks now. Months. <laughs> Might have been a futile effort. It's just getting blown around in this breeze. But <laughs> comment down below, what do you think? <laughs> it's long hair. Also, loving the pants and the shoes we picked up the other day. He's Hopefully they let us in. very European right now. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. It's a compliment. 
have gotten our little shuttle bus here, taking us down to the restaurant. I feel like I'm in a limo right now. This place is bougie. Daniel and I are not bougie. <laughs> we are not bougie people. <laughs> Whatever, look at these pants. Yeah, you got your Europe pants on and Europe <laughs> shoes on. I look like I just woke up. Oh gosh. <laughs> this morning. <laughs> okay, truth be told, we maybe could have done a little bit more research about this place. We're looking at the menu right now. We have no idea what we're gonna get. They have different options. You can do like a set menu for a certain amount of courses, or you can do a la carte, where you can try a lot more different options. I think we're gonna go for a la carte so that we can taste test more things on this menu. Yeah, and share them all. This is insane. In case you guys haven't caught on, Daniel and I are actually celebrating our wedding anniversary, which is why we decided we would splurge and come eat dinner at this famous restaurant because we're in the area. Our anniversary is actually next week, but we figured we're here, we're staying here. Once in a lifetime, anniversary dinner celebration. Cheers. <laughs> I can't believe we're in Italy in a cave having the most fine Italian food ever. This is unbelievable. <laughs> walking around the restaurant a bit. This is crazy. We were just in here earlier on the boat, and now we're up here dining. And this is just beautiful. Like, holy smokes. They have seating all along this little cave. There's birds flying around in here. And then they have the seating along the ocean there. And Shell and I scored this rad table up there by the sax player overlooking everything. Pretty awesome. course has come. Gallop and some sort of seafood that I don't remember. <laughs> I don't but remember I'm excited. Either. They look fancy and we're excited. <laughs> 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 okay, pasta course has just come. I gotta be honest, I don't really remember what either of us ordered, but they look delicious. I'm very excited to try. Mine's green. <laughs> Perfect al dente noodles. I don't know how they do it. They're Italian, that's how they do it. This is so good. Guys, I don't remember what I ordered. It's all so good. It's all so good. Shelly got the beef. This looks phenomenal. I got the lobster. We may have to hit a pizza joint after this. <laughs> Just to be safe, while everything is delicious, I may still be hungry. Excited about this. I hope you can share this with me because this looks oh, really good. Oh, half of that is for sure yours. This is the final course. I'm pretty sad about it, but I had to end something. <laughs> Must come to an end. We got a souvenir though. A hefty bill. <laughs> <laughs> and a postcard. We're saving that one. That was pretty incredible. Once in a lifetime thing, for sure. Feeling good. Happy anniversary, babe. Love you. Love you. Clearly I'm not at dinner anymore. <laughs>
don't know what's happening. We have to be honest with you guys though. The food, I would give a solid six or seven out of 10. Seven's being generous. So here's the thing, okay? The food was truly delicious. Like it was actually very good, but it wasn't the best meal we've ever had in our lives. You know what I mean? Like, I honestly think that that place we went to the very first night in Albero Bello was better. The Phenomenal. food was like, it was so delicious. So the food maybe not like, you know, a 10 out of 10. We did have to laugh, okay? We did have to laugh. This was funny. Daniel and I had a good laugh over this. He ordered the lobster and when it came, <laughs> We were laughing about the fact that we literally have had jumbo shrimp, you know? A single jumbo a shrimp. A single jumbo shrimp. Like, I know for a fact we had jumbo shrimp cocktail, and those shrimp were bigger than the lobster the that Daniel shrimp. ordered. The single shrimp was bigger than the lobster. We were a little underwhelmed when Daniel's lobster came. <laughs> I will say, though, my beef was, like, Fantastic. really big and really good, for sure. We aren't usually ones for fine dining. It's usually Never. not Fine dining's our not thing. our thing. But you know what, guys? We can't afford it. Fine dining's too expensive, and we like to eat more than that. <laughs> when in Italy and when it's your anniversary you go big. That was a ton of fun. Thank you guys so much for celebrating our anniversary with us. We really appreciate all of you being there with us. It was incredible. Happy anniversary. Love you. Love you. Puglia has been amazing. It really has the been truly so awesome. The coastline we've been able to see. The caves that we swam in, that we drove by on a boat, and then we dined in. I mean, guys, I don't know how many people can say they swam, drove, okay, going on a boat <laughs> is normal, but then dining in a cave all in one day in the same cave. I mean, it's pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. I feel pretty cool. Guys, we're hitting the road tomorrow. Make sure you come back to see where we're off to. A new part of Italy. We're going kind of across the country. We'll see you next time. Good night, everyone.